Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie, and it is time to get to work. Do a little eBay work today. Got a few orders going out, um, but not not a ton. So we're gonna pull those, and of course, we'll be doing some viewer questions again today. And uh, I'm gonna be trying to finish up these um, action figures. I have some more in a box back here. And then I'm going to move on to, been trying to kind of mix things up, keep them different. I've got this box right here full of CDs that I need to go through. And also, I need to make sure these things are listed right here. I don't think they are. And, uh, I've just been moving all around the shed, just trying to knock out, knock out shelves. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pull some orders. Okay, speaking of action figures, I did sell two of them. This is coming from the Sarah shelf. I'm just storing them in the box. The box used to be up high there. Um, let's see, I sold a Supergirl, which I think is, no, that's Harley Quinn. Ah, I see her. I sold this Supergirl right here. This is from, this is from 1999. Sold this for I think 10 bucks plus ship. And then I sold, this is one of the ones I didn't know who it was. Oh, I did actually, Green Lantern. The problem I have with him, it's this guy right here. He's really cool looking. The problem I have with him is I couldn't find this exact pattern, but I ended up punching in the numbers, I think on the back of his leg or something, and uh, found out that this is like a classic, uh, retro type version but man this is a pretty cool looking figure here anyway i got twenty dollars plus shipping for that i sold a hat karen bought a an outback style cowboy hat by turner hats this is it right here she bought this for her brother and this is a cool hat look it's even got a little kangaroo pin on it i like that hat uh, that was 16, I think 16.99 plus shipping. And then she also bought <clears throat> she also bought this tin right here. Uh, also the Santa tin is for his collection. Okay, so that's for her brother too. So the Santa tin is on Pop A. Got this at a garage sale a couple weeks ago. Y'all probably saw it, maybe. I think that was on the other channel. I think or no no I didn't show a video of picking that up I just showed um, actually I think it might have been on this channel anyways uh, this Santa 10 from 19 1980 opens up the, the paperwork I don't know if I showed it on the listing or not but the original paperwork is right there too it's out of the 10 it's a little tattered but it's there so anyway thank you very much Karen hope you enjoy or hope your brother enjoys Okay, just one more thing to pull. Uh, high value comic book. I didn't know I had any that were this high value. It's a Witchblade T2. This sucker sold for like 80 bucks. Can you believe that? I didn't know I had any that good in here. Oh, I gotta watch out for the nudity, sorry. Sorry kids, y'all gotta, gotta hide your eyes for a minute while I look for a comic. I don't think the one I'm pulling has nudity. Oh, it's all the way back here. All right. Here we go. This is Wizard World Philadelphia. And she's either taking off or putting on some Philly sweatpants. T2. It's supposed to be two, though. Let me make sure it is signed. I think I just had all right yeah okay this is it uh, $79.99 plus shipping on top for that can you believe that that's nuts and that is actually it that's everything that sold today okay let's play another round of what's in the Wii and hopefully this is the second one I'm testing I tested one the other day and we had a what was it just dance in there so let's find out what we're gonna have in here today. 
Got my little TV hooked up. Let me see, let me power this thing on. And let's see if there's something in there. I'm afraid this one's empty, y'all. So I'm gonna have to test it with iCarly. <laughs> Yeah, oh well, nothing in this one. We'll check another one later. Let me see if this sucker works though. And, let's, oh, gotta sync this up. Boom, boom. Yep, there we go. And I think it's working. I'm gonna test it a little bit, but I see it read the iCarly disc there. So let me test this and get it listed. Been listing a few things, just odds and ends today. But I grabbed a VCR that was on that shelf right there. And I'm gonna test it right now. I got that Wii listed, by the way. Let's see if this thing works. This is one of those fancy forehead VCRs. Oh, it didn't like this tape? What's going on? What's wrong with this tape? Spit it out. Now it said play. Hmm, looks like it shut off. That's not good. All right, I took the top lid off. Let's see what this thing does when I put a tape in. Okay, it didn't even try and wrap the tape around the head. doing nothing let me see if I have another tape all right I know for a fact this one works I've, I've tested with this one a bunch of times okay that one I think there's a problem with that mechanism right there oh well This thing just has issues. Give me my friggin' tape. I'm gonna chunk this thing. It ain't worth messing with. As if I even know how to fix it anyway. But I will sell the remote. I'll test the remote out real quick. All right, we'll test this remote real quick. Some batteries in it already. Oh, there we go, blinky blinky. Y'all can see the little blinking thing. All right, remote's fine. I can sell it at least. I think I had about, I want to say I got that VCR to garage sale for like $2. So that's the way the VCRs go though. Like there's a, the fail rate is not crazy high or anything, but I found fail rate to probably be, depending on where I source, uh, thrift stores, super high. But like garage sales, typically I would say 30% fail rate, maybe a little lower than that, something like that. Okay, I've got a few more odds and ends I can list, and I will. Actually, I've got a lot of stuff to list, but I mean things that I'm planning on listing today. But I want to deal with this right now because I listed, I sunk, I don't know, three, four hours of time into listing 30 something of these and so far these are those star wars galactic coins or whatever and i have sold so far i've sold one box for was it 39.99 i'll see in a second and i sold the bb8 i sold four bb8 coins for 70. that's all i've sold whenever i list 30 something of something like that and it's not selling um, after a few weeks I've sold one that means there's a problem there's a problem with the listing problem with the title problem with the item or mo most likely a problem with the price I don't think there's enough demand for those things so I'm not gonna fight it like I I kind of suspected these would be hard to sell anyway so it's not surprising so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and 
we're gonna start a promotion promotions here we go right here and I'm gonna do create a promotion sales event and markdown Whoop. come over here 30% that'll work we'll go we'll get aggressive select items I'm sorry I'm swinging this camera back and forth I know uh, select items 500 per promotion okay we'll just do it like that category and store categories and then Star Wars Galactic Connections that's the name of it okay and I'm just gonna select all of these and yeah those boxes I'm doing $39.99 free ship and the idea is they'll fit into a pad of flat rate so if I do 30% off of that that'll be it's pretty pretty substantial that's uh $12 off that's $28 still got to ship it free so I'll end up with about $20 minus fees and minus cost of goods but I'm good with that let's let's give that a shot like if I sold them all at that price I'll be pleased as punch okay this looks good confirm selections uh, yes save and review and save up to 30 percent Ba, 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 date start now and I'm gonna run it for I'm gonna run it for a week see what happens and uh, star wars galactic connections sale I don't like my photos for that sale either or for the for those items either but that's fine all right starting now last in a week 30% off there's the name launch I haven't run a sale lately and it says pending sometimes it can take it a little while to start still says pending sometimes it'll take it a little while to start though i've seen it take a few hours before but yeah 30 i'm doing 30 percent off we'll see how that performs just checked email and um my eco pro 2 disc resurfacer it i have a tracking number now so it's packed they must have packed and labeled it it doesn't look like it's moving yet so Hopefully early next week I get it. I also got a uh, opportunity to advertise, advertisement opportunity from Kira, marketing manager of Rubik's Editor. You as a blogger should know that the video processing is a routine process. <laughs> uh, and our company helps people make this test easier and quickly. Represent a digital company. Want to buy ads on your blog. They put blog. I don't have a blog. Uh, blah, 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 what's app? We're looking for an author who agrees to work with us for a long time. Payment will be made three times a month on Fridays at 20 hundred English, English time. Kira from Rubik's, waiting your reply. Well, I looked up, I looked, I Googled Rubik's, Rubik's company, Rubik's video editor. Uh, I. Maybe I'm not good at it, but I couldn't find anything about it. Uh, and no, I wouldn't use anything like that anyways, or advertise for it. Doesn't look like it exists. <laughs> I assume most of these things are scams. Q and A time and stick around for the last one for sure, because a viewer, um, a viewer tipped me off on a very important, something very important that I want to share that I'm pretty excited about. So uh, let's get started though. Nolita505. I know the history of your two eBay, eBay stores, but I'm wondering if you started differentiating what you sell in each store. One for garage sale flips and one for the things you got from your guy. Yep, you uh, you nailed it. I, I'm using pretty much garage flips. eBay store is for garage sale stuff and the uh, mean PC store. I've been primarily listing stuff for my guy and I might... I might swap back and forth on that depending on like if i don't get stuff from my guy for a while and garage flip store gets really full i might you know put some stuff in the mean pc store or whatever but yeah 
you pretty much nailed exactly what I'm doing right now. Uh, Dylan, did you ever think of making a Patreon channel with extra content? Of course, thanks. Uh, no, no, I, I'm not going to do anything like that. It, the reason um, with extra content, that's the part I have a big problem with. I don't have time to make extra content. So I wouldn't be able to do anything like that. Um, in this particular space, I wouldn't really, uh, you know, selling content just isn't, isn't my game. So I, and I'm not against Patreon and, you know, in general, um, I think, I think it could be a, a pretty good tool. I actually support a few channels, not reselling channels on Patreon. Uh, Zach asked, Lonnie, love the vids. What is in those pink boxes above the scales? Uh, these boxes right here, this is some stuff I picked up uh, during, I think during my my viral video. Uh, li they're Lily Pulitzer jewelry things. And I've sold, I've sold either one or two of them. And I don't remember what I paid for them. I think I paid about five bucks a piece, maybe a little more, maybe six or seven, something like that. Uh, but yeah, that I need to drop the price on those things because I, I started trying, I think I bought them in like October-ish and they didn't sell through Christmas. So I need to put those on sale too. So I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, Mohammed, I noticed most eBayers have both a laser printer and a Dymo Zebra thermal printer. Why do you need both when the Dymo should print the labels you need? Uh, okay, so here is something I'm, I'm kind of ashamed to admit, but I have never quite figured out how to easily format, like when I buy a label from PayPal for UPS, for example, I've never been able to easily format that label to four by six labels. And I know there's probably some way to do it, but I haven't figured it out. Now, when I print from any of the labels I print from eBay or Pirate Ship, they print fine, including the international labels. But whenever I print my UPS labels that I print off of PayPal, um, I, I print them on paper. <laughs> I print them on that regular letter size paper and I tape them down. And occasionally I'll print some other stuff too on uh, using that printer, which is nice. Or uh, if Candace wants wants me to whip something up, I'll, I'll print on there too. We have another printer too, but uh, this one's a little better. So, And this printer is really nice because of the ink. Um, I've had a pretty good while now and I've done a fair amount of printing and there's it's an eco tank. It's got a tank for each color you can see how much I've used so far. I uh, haven't used much at all. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like a, uh, it's an inkjet, but it's as cheap as a, as a laser or maybe a little cheaper even. That's the pitch anyways. I spent a couple hundred bucks on that printer. Anyways, does anybody else print UPS labels from um, PayPal using their Dymo? What do I need to do? <laughs> Help me out. I haven't, I admittedly not spent any time trying. I just, I just, ah, well, I'll send it to that printer behind me. <laughs> and then I tape it down. Um, JF Brake says, did you have an issue with scratch disc in the past? I would think if it runs, it wouldn't be a big deal, but I guess any skipping would be problematic. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, if the game runs, if the game works, you could say, yeah, game's been tested, works, whatever. Um, but if it has scratches on it and it still plays, I'm a little concerned whenever the customer gets the disc, first thing they're going to do, they're going to turn it over, they're going to look at it. And then they're going to be, like, it's not going to be a good experience. Hey, this thing's all scratched up. They put it in and it plays. Eh, you know, they're probably, they're probably happy enough with it, I guess. Um, but I'd rather sell discs with no scratches and I don't test disc. I don't test games on disc. I don't like if I sell a $10 game or a $15 game or a $20 game or an $8 game, I'm not going to test it. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to test CDs. I'm not going to test DVDs. I'm not going to test PC games. So I'd rather just clean them off, get all the scratches off and list them. 
and uh yeah if they have a problem with it then i'll i'll refund or whatever i have to do but i would much it's much much easier if you're selling games without scratches in my opinion so the machine uh hopefully will be here soon i already talked about it i'm just really excited about this thing if it doesn't blow me away then i have seven days i can return it for a full refund uh minus the shipping i guess and if i don't love it then i'll i'll send it back but i'm hoping i love it i really am uh let's see wheeler dealer dave like that what are the photo lights you you used to use standing in the corner just getting started and would love to see what you use used to use before you upgraded the first ones i used were um they were like um cheap um, the cheapest of the cheap umbrella lights and those were actually decent uh they weren't bad they're you know like they're instead of, they're like soft soft umbrella diffuser things they weren't horrible the next thing i used was this and these are good because they are uh very small and very bright the downside is that they uh, they can cast very harsh shadows and uh that may or may not be a big deal for you but they work pretty well you just you know you might have to finagle with them a little bit to not have like super hard shadows or you might have to get two or three of them which is what i did uh and then now of course i'm used been using the ring light stuff so um but if if i had unlimited space honestly i would probably get uh some big soft boxes some some big old gigantic soft boxes those provide the best quality of light if there are no constrictions at all so uh thomas said if the disc repair actually works well you can even offer the service locally to help offset costs come up with pricing for doing a few discs at a time 10 20 etc yeah I, that is a possibility i'm probably not going to do anything like that but what i might do i might talk to a few friends and say hey uh if you get a bunch of scratch disc sell them to me cheap <laughs> i might do something like that but um i don't think i'll offer a disc cleaning service i'm not planning on it anyways maybe with maybe with some of my buddies or something i might do it on a small scale um just to try and recoup a little cost and help them out you know do it kind of cheap but still enough to make it worthwhile but i don't think i would offer like a you know public service or anything uh arnold hey lonnie have you ever thought of branching out from ebay like mercari or offer up which offers shipping now and amazon i haven't thought about using mercari i know there's a big buzz about mercari right now i haven't thought about using mercari or offer up really uh or amazon for that matter like i said yesterday i'm pretty happy with where i'm at right now sales wise but uh one thing that i've am trying to kind of keep an eye on and might try in the future is facebook i think the one thing that could really be the ebay killer is facebook marketplace if they really um if they really start to expand the shipping thing because whenever i look at facebook marketplace i notice there's a lot of people starting to offer shipping and i think there's a lot of people starting to buy there too um, and everybody's on facebook so I could see Facebook Marketplace being something I, I might try. Uh, I don't love local sales too much because part of the part of the draw to me of selling online is not having to um, not having to deal with people face to face. I, it's kind of a hassle or drive around or whatever. And I'm not saying it's bad or good. I'm just saying that's what I prefer. So, good question though. Uh, Okay, the, the last thing I want to talk about is eBay Addicts sent or posted a link. And this is, I'm glad I saw it because I had to go to, typically links will show up in like a waiting review or whatever. I, I went to the waiting review and I saw this link and I clicked on it and I was amazed. Let me, um, let me pull it up on my screen here and we can go through it real quick. Okay, I've got it pulled up now and uh, the link that they provided was to this eBay um, insertion fees update. Basically, they're gonna give us more listings, whether you have a store or not. Um, so 
This starts on August 1st, after August 1st, 2020. No store at all used to get 50 auction or fixed price listings, no insertion fees. After August 1st, 200 fixed price listings for free. That is huge. That is huge. That's going to deter a lot of people from even needing to get a store for a while, which is good. So you can keep your overhead low. That's awesome. Uh, starter store. This is weird. Before it was 100 and now it's going to be 250 I'm surprised they didn't bump that up a little more. Uh, basic store, 250 to 350 which that's... It's weird they went 4X on non-store, and then they only bumped up the starter and basic stores by a little bit. But they still increased it, which is good. A hundred Going from 100 to 250 is a big bump. And it, actually, 250 to 350 that's a nice bump, too. That could keep you from having to get that uh, premium store for a while. So there's more to it, though. And that basic store... Uh, basic store we we just talked about that they're also going to get 10,000 fixed price listings in select categories premium store thousand stays the same which not happy about that but on top of that you get 50,000 listings in select categories anchor store stays the same except they get 75,000 listings in select categories then enterprise yeah, whatever. <laughs> Those guys have 100,000 listings. I I don't know even know anybody that has an enterprise store. Maybe somebody watching this, uh, anybody watching this video right now, you have an enterprise store? Those are pretty amazing, aren't they? Uh, but anyway, the, it's only interesting if the select categories is good, right? But here's the select categories. It's actually better than I thought. Uh, these, so like premium store, which I have for one of my stores, um, 50,000 of these I get sports trading cards which is big because a lot of times people want to list individual cards and that could take up a lot of your listings collectible card games that's huge collectibles that's very broad music so like CDs and stuff books that's huge I could list 40,000 books if I wanted to free insertions DVDs and movies, stamps, video games, crafts, party supplies. Look at that. That's huge. So it looks like eBay is trying to really, like, it's weird because they just increased final value fee on media stuff, I think, a couple months ago. And now they're incentivizing us to list more media and games and DVDs and hobby stuff. So, which is, which is awesome. Because that, like video games, video games, if you get like a big haul of video games and you list like 100 or 200 of them, that can chew up a bunch of your free listings. But with this, um, if you have any kind of store, basically it's unlimited in these kind of things, which is awesome. Or CDs, music CDs or books. Uh, this is this is taking aim at some of uh, Amazon's bread and butter spots. I love it. This is huge news, so I'm glad uh, eBay Addicts shared it. But I'm going to also put this link in the description down below so y'all can go and read it for yourself and see what exactly is involved. I'm hoping... It says... After, they didn't put like a stop date on it or anything? Yeah. We'll update our selling fees with permanent free monthly fixed price and auction listings. Okay, it doesn't say there's an end date, so I don't think it's any kind, it doesn't look like it's any kind of limited time promotion or anything. So I'm excited about this. So August 1st, it starts. That's that's fun. So again, thanks to uh, eBay Addicts for calling my attention to it. I don't watch near as many reseller videos as I used to, so I'm sure other people are talking all about it and I just don't see it. So. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.